I had my hip replacement surgery for my right hip um, exactly 13 days ago at the New England Baptist Hospital with Dr. Stephen Murphy. He used a minimally invasive technique. Uh, the approach was superior capsulotomy, whatever that means. And he used a uh, ceramic on ceramic prothesis. Anyway, um, I'm exactly 13 days out and uh, one of the things with this particular operation is that it, uh, there are no precautions. In other words, you progress in your activities as far as you can, provided there's no discomfort or pain in the hip. So after the operation, uh, movement was very limited, uh, but when I got home I used two crutches um, for maybe three or four days. And then what I found was that actually uh, uh, going to the bathroom and things I could actually stand quite well without the use of the canes, without the use of the crutches. So I guess after maybe six days, seven days, I switched to between using the crutches and using the cane for a few minutes at a time. Um, and I went out yesterday for the first time with the cane, but maybe starting four or five days ago, uh, three or four times a day, two or three minutes at a time, um, I started to walk without a cane. And one of the things you have to make sure is that um, when you're walking is that there's no limp, because obviously you don't want to ingrain any poor biomechanical or postural patterns um, as, as you go through your rehab. And I have been doing the rehab exercises. Um, I do them once a day. They're called on, supposed to do them three times a day. I do them once a day, but I do them quite intensely. Um, the physiotherapist has been seeing me a couple of times a week just to check on how I'm doing those exercises. So um, the purpose of this video, uh, I'm sending it to my physician, Dr. Stephen Murphy of New England Baptist Hospital, just so he can check uh, my gait of my walk uh, without any support and if he thinks that uh, the gait is sufficient and I can start and doesn't have any major uh, biomechanical or postural or gait errors then I can start to integrate a bit more normal walking without a cane into my routine. Um, if he does think there are any postural errors then of course I will back off, uh, go back to using the cane more and in a week or so come back to uh, trying again to walk without any support.